Hey there you guys. It's me, Ghostboy, here with a CD collection update. I got five CDs here to show you, all of which I got from Barnes & Noble. Let's get into it. Now we're starting off with a 2020 release. Body Count Carnivore. I was very surprised to find this. Because they don't... Shit, I can't. You know, uh, Barnes & Noble doesn't really sell this type of music for some reason. They're more about that mainstream shit. Although the next CD I'm about to show you is even more surprising. This is a really good... This is a really good album. Not going to be in my top 20, but it is pretty dope. Uh, it's got that song featuring Riley from Power Trip, Point the Finger, which is banging, you know? Banging like a painish. You know what I mean? And then this like, might be a rare find or something. I don't even know. Burn the Priest. Before Lamb of God was... Lamb of God, they was Burn the Priest, and they made an actual album that wasn't a cover. You know? Like the last Burn the Priest thing. Which was dope, by the way. But like this, I can't believe I was able to find this at Barnes & Noble because... Like, this is like death metal grindcore. This was like before Lamb of God was like a groove band. But seriously, this is some punishing shit, and I'm very glad I have it. Now we got, moving on to some good old death metal to Butt Rock Skillet with Comatose. This is probably my favorite Skillet album. It is my favorite Skillet album. What am I saying? And it's very nostalgic, you know. Although, I guess, to an extent, it could bring back bad memories. Or, well, Skillet in general can bring back bad memories, but this album doesn't because it's great. And it's more summer-ish, and I love it. And these last two are by the same band, so I'll just show them. Three Days Grace self-titled and life starts now very good albums and this is all i'm getting from the adam uh era i don't like the album they did the, the fourth album they did with him ultra venus intra venus i don't even know it's a very nice booklet although i guess a little too bent in a way yeah, I don't know. that's not very easy to see. But, yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys admire my collection. I think uh, sometime after 2021 starts, I'm going to show off the entire collection again. And I'm currently working on my, 20, my top 20 of the year list. I don't know when I'll be done with that, but when I'm done with that, I'm going to post it on YouTube. Bye.